Welcome back to another video, everybody, on structure. So the vehicle of the market, right? Structure is going to be one of the most important things and one of the most organic things in any market, right? So how do we use structure? So what we see is, in a bullish example, we see price giving us a high and a low. We see price giving us new highs and new lows, okay? So when we see this, we understand that we need to be buying, right? We need to be buying in line. We're targeting these highs over here. But we, we need to understand where we're going to be buying as well. So we're going to be using structure in conjunction with PD arrays, so premium and discount arrays. And how does that work? Okay, so what we do is we, we use the swing, we use the Fibonacci tool from the swing low all the way up to the swing high, right? Now, we need to understand that we need to be buying in these positions below the 50% level in the discount. So this is very important to understand. So the first thing is we see price making new highs and higher lows and new highs and higher lows and new highs and higher lows just like this. So our structure breaks are going to be in this region over here, right? We see a structure break over here, and we see a structure break over here. Now, we have to understand that our buys are going to be below the 50% level in the discount. This is important, important to understand, right? So we have buys in the discount, right? We have buys just over here in the discount, right? This is important, important to understand. And we're going to be going over real life price action on Bitcoin to dissect this further, right? So our structure is the vehicle of the market and we use the highs and lows to help us get involved. Now, what do we do on the flip side for the bearish example? It's the same thing for, for the bearish example, right? We see price giving us new lows and higher lows and new lows and higher lows and new lows and higher lows, right? In this sequence over here. Now, what we look for is we see we, we use our FIB tool from the swing high down to the swing low, right? So we understand that our sell should be in the premium in this region, right? So sells in the premium. Sells in the premium, just like this, okay? Now we see sells again in the premium in this region over here. Sells in the premium. So you, have, well, you want to ask yourself as traders, why are we doing this? What is the purpose of doing this, right? So buying in the discount, and selling in the premium is very important. So we're well priced in our position, so we're not overpaying or we're not underselling, right? And this is important to understand. So if we take this ideology and we apply it to the charts, right? Here we have Bitcoin <coughs> on the weekly time frame. okay? So we haven't got too much to analyze over here because this is a highly uh, immature and highly underdeveloped asset class. But if we look over here, we see price giving us a high, right? We see price, oh, if I start again, we see price giving us a high breaking that high, and then breaking structure again to the downside. So what we see over here is a chalk. We see a change of character. This is not a boss because we haven't confirmed it. We're going to go into chalk versus bossing in a bit. But what we see here is a change of character, right? We see that last structural low get broken just in this region. Now what do we see? Now we see price heading up to the premium in this level over here. Now again, Fibonacci from the swing high down to the swing low we see price just creeping up into the premium, right? So there's two places we could be looking for sales. One's going to be here, and one's going to be here. These are, our, these are POIs. So we have POIs in the premium, okay? POIs, points of interest in the premium, okay? So we have a POI in this region, and we have a POI in this region, okay? So price would more than likely react to one of them. Either it's this one, or... It's this one. Now, from a, probabilist, from a probabilistic standpoint, we're more likely to see a reaction from this POI over here. Now, the reason for that is because it's deeper in the discount, okay? We could see somewhat of a reaction over here, but ultimately, this is our main point of interest over here because it's deep in the discount, right? And it's, we've got bearish structure, as we can see. So that being said, if we go down to the daily time frame, we can begin to dissect more intraday levels of structure, right? We can begin to dissect it in more detail. So what we see over here is we see price giving us bearish structure coming down, right? So we see price giving us that bearish structure with lows and higher lows and lows and higher lows and more new lows, right? So we see price giving us this structure over here. Just like this. Now what do we see over here is we see price shifting structure, bullish, right? So we see price giving us a structural shift to the upside, boss, and another boss, and one more boss, right? So what we see over here is we see a classic example of chalk versus boss, right? So this here is bearish structure that shifts bullish with a chalk, 
and a boss over here. So this is what we see in this region, okay? So what we see here is we see a chop giving us our change of character, and we see boss giving us our confirmed shift of structure over here. And this is exactly what Bitcoin in the daily time frame has done. But you have to ask yourself, why is Bitcoin doing that? What's the purpose of price shifting daily structure? Now, the reason it's done that is very simply, as we saw on the weekly, we had two POIs on the weekly. We had this one and we had this one up here. So the daily structure will shift bullish to get up to the weekly POI. So if we have a weekly, if we have a higher time frame POI in this region over here, right? Right, so this is a weekly POI like we have. Price would be bearish, right? As price is bearish on the higher time frame. But when we see a shift in structure over here, what is the purpose of this chalk? Is it to go all the way to the moon? Probably not. We're going to be creating some kind of structure to get back up to the premium higher time frame levels. And that's exactly what's happened over here on Bitcoin, okay? So what we see here is we see price shifting structure, giving us a chalk and a boss. And eventually, we end up at the weekly POI. We end up at the weekly POI. So if we go down to the four-hour time frame, just to highlight and illustrate the fractal nature of structure and what we're discussing, okay? If we go down now to the four-hour time frame, what we see is, again, our bullish structure, okay? We see price, obviously, bullish in terms of the daily. But if we look at price over here, what we see here is our four-hour structure, intraday structure, okay, with the orange dots. So what we see here is very important. We see lows, new highs. We see lows and new highs. And now we're just creating new highs on the four-hour time frame, okay? So now what do we do? Like we said from the start of the video, we understand that we have our Fib tool from the swing low, the most recent swing low, up to the swing high, okay? Now what are we looking to do here? What are we looking to do? We're looking to follow our structure, and we're looking to mark out our POI. So we have a POI in this region, and we have a POI in this region as well. So we have two POIs of interest, points of interest that we could see price mitigate from. And one of them's already mitigated over here. We see a candle mitigating in this region, okay? So to break it down structurally, we have to understand that our daily and our four hour structure is bullish to complement the fact that we have a POI in this region over here, right? So when we see our four hour structure is bullish, we see bullishness over here, okay? What are we looking to do? What are we looking to do? Now, we want to be buying in the discount because this is very important to understand. We want to be buying in the discount. So we use our FIB tool from the swing low up to the swing high. And all our, all our job is to do is to be patient as to wait as traders is to come down and wait for these four hour levels in this region, right? So we have a four hour level over here and we have a four hour level just below it as Bitcoin is indicating over here. So what could we see over here? We could see price either react off here or reactive here okay now we use our lower time frame structure and entry deals to get involved in one of the two pois but simply put this is what we're waiting for is this is how we use structure right so we understand that structure is the vehicle to the market structure is the vehicle to the market okay so with that being said if we have a quick overview on what we've gone through what we see is we see the weekly time frame giving us our most recent structural highs and lows we see a low over here, sorry, a high over here and a low over here. Now we see price heading up to these regions, okay? So we use our chalk and our boss in conjunction, our schematics in conjunction with the real price action. So we understand we have a POI over here and we have a POI over here. Our structure is simply the vehicle to get there. If we go down now to the daily time frame, the daily time frame indicates more or less the same thing. If I just clear the charts up a little bit, yep. Our daily structure will indicate the same thing, right? We have a swing low and a swing high. We have a swing low and a swing high in this region, okay? So from here, we understand that these are our four-hour POIs. So from here, there's two things that could happen. If we see a sustained bearish break from here, we could head down into discount levels before continuing higher. Or like the four-hour suggests, like the four-hour suggests, we could just see price bounce off one of these POIs, either this one or this one over here. So with that being said, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.